Ismaka, Ismakala Kachika, Orzima Kata, Yana Kukata, Ichikamata Kalaka, Orzima Kata, Orzikataka, Orzima. Everything that I get to come, the king, the chase, the come, the case, the case, the wrong chase. Rock, rock, umba, the ya. Adreshi, umbra, ke, 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 rock, she seems to call a cuckoo. Yeah. my cuckoo, rock, say. Ungo, rock, took a shingle, who, umbra, kissing, sing, rock, she. Precar, got to go bring in sing. Andreshi sing or cook and tuna. I go cook at she say, say, lock on the cork. And they take a shondre co and resting. And I and she say, O core, cork, shake, drinking the gap. A la la in Turkum sing nine take, but she are a rook in the Eya shurukuko things. Trakeshe. Prajin no nuko kuko. Trakeshe se on the kun nitala kukum. We take up tunguruke hatila. E kuru, e kandre zinka. E kashe se kuru kuko zingdrekeke. We take a moment for zenka zenga rukuko zenka shareke. Rahi hua ha ha, the tua haina hua hua hu. Dahi da hula dahi la dahi. Ila hia una ya hu. Abi ahi hi hi para hi ya hu. E hi ahi o ma 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 para ti. Pero tu 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 tu. Ahi ahu ahu ahi 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 ahu. No. Alahi ahi ahi ahi. Aha, hu, 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 hu. Ailu, ay, ay, ay. Ahi, ay, no. Ikatang, ni, 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 ni. Ala, hu. Ahi, 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 ahi. Ahi, 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 ria. Ari. Kata di, saya perlu kau sini kau kumpul ke? Terkenal. Oh,是是啊，上了就给啊，上了是是那条叫做是是那条叫做是是是那条叫做是是是那条叫做是是是那条叫做是是是那条叫做是是是那条叫做是是是那条叫做是是是那条叫做是是是那条叫做是是是那
Ну, то, впрочем, рукоко, так это такие сетины, то, куда рукоко, да не дня, да, а что рукоко, рукоко, эрко. なんならばてたらてゆるかもたらとみんならかてらてゆかんならばてたらていかかかばるてゆらかゆるんがらとぱらてなんだらかとゆりがもつてらかたらとどえろんからたたきかんばらてとえろんたらぱたんがらてば
y el asunto ratatán ni que arra. Y lo him y lo tundo ratatán ni que lini. Songs of Expression. Yun yur yalan stu. Ay yalan suri. Ha yolo Blessings to all of you. Remembrance of who we are, radiance of who are being, Ekotumo Dinestara Tektonyo, Star Blooms, Star Blooming Kinikum Totala Sashendi. We all want to thank Garrett Duncan. That that was amazing. All, everybody was amazing and beautiful. All transmissions today were just absolutely profound. And in gratitude, I can feel the presence of our star people. I'm sure a lot of us do. And I would like to know if Jessalyn is uh, would like to share a transmission. Her on still. Um, we lost a lot of people because the sound issue that happened. Um, so I don't see her still, and I just texted her. So we we uh, we are going to do a breakaway where we're going to have um, a break breakaway into sets of three, and we're going to speak in English, and um, we can talk about how we felt when we received the transmission, and we can talk about our experiences with light language if this is the first time or if this is one of many times experiences. We'll go over those kind of things in the breakout room. And if any of the other co-leads, Joy, Zenka, if you'd like to share anything about the breakout rooms. I just wanna really welcome everybody and thank them. And as you can see, uh, we our team had a lot of fun. A couple of our uh, strong people, we had some strong people here tonight. We also had a couple of strong people that couldn't make it. And, uh, uh, that was, we were really hoping they would be here to share uh, as well. However, you can see that some of these people just went from never having spoken light language to some of us had been speaking it for a little while or a longer while. And um, everybody has a different flavor and uh, people speak different dialects. Um, so it's really, really fun. Anyway, I had a ton of fun uh, co-leading uh, with Carla next season. Carla will be leading the light language herself, um, and I will be teaching something else. I'll be teach. I'll just be working with uh, clearing and energetic 
uh, fun stuff. It, it's going to be a great course. Uh, I'm going to teach a whole bunch of tools and things to empower people. And so you can do it for yourself. Um, and I think that's all I really want to say other than um, I can't imagine not being in next next uh, season's light language. So I just have to join it too as a student. <laughs> Zinka, anything? Yeah, you thank see? you guys so much. So what we're going to do is we're going to put everybody in breakout groups of three to four um, and we'll have 20 minutes. So if you have four people, that's five minutes each. Just share about um, what came up for you, how you received the transmissions, holiday love transmissions, um, what you felt, um, and then we'll come back and, and close everything. So I'm going to go ahead and create them now and we'll see you in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, you guys turn back on the recordings. Um, so I just want to thank everyone for being here today. It just so happened that in my breakout group, um, we were joined by um, Heather Keller from Sound Alignment Systems. And she is getting a PhD from Quantum University in light language. And she is researching how light language has an incredibly healing power with nurses. So we've asked her to speak a little bit um, on that. Um, and then afterwards, we're gonna have some of the guides from LightNet talk a little bit about their season three um, uh, offering. So here we go. Um, Heather, thanks for doing this on the spot. Um, we we um, appreciate you and are glad that you're here. And we'd love to hear about your research and then hear a little bit about, uh, hear you do some light language. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I'm glad that I hopped on in between so I wouldn't get intimidated by everyone else. Um, <laughs> so thank you for inviting me to share. Um, and uh, so I began speaking light language uh, spontaneously and I didn't know what it was in 2013. Um, and I, uh, had been pursuing all types of healing modalities. I'm a nurse, I've been a nurse for 20, well, 28 years now. Um, and I've never satisfied with sort of um, like finding the source of healing. Like I kept wanting to go more deeper, deeper, deeper. And I ended up in sound. <laughs> and then, and then um, you know, this modality, this thing that, that, that I have access to, I, I would, couldn't find anything in the research. So um, it, became a, it became sort of my mission to explore this um, from, a, from a more academic perspective and, and hopefully bring this um, into the you know, forefront as, as a sound modality for, for healing. Um, so I also um, have been supporting the healing or sometimes I don't like to use the word healing, but sort of the evolution of consciousness in the collective of nurses. I um, have a mission to transform the healthcare system by way of supporting the evolution of, of nurses as a collective on the globe, all, all over the globe, um, to basically um, you know, allow their awareness to be healthy. <laughs> um, so that's a side mission, but um, so the topic for my research is to uh, study nurses and provide light language as a source for healing and for transformation um, and well-being. So um, I'm in the middle of that, and uh, and then uh, hopefully next year I'll I'll graduate. <laughs> um, so so yeah. Awesome. Um, if anyone has any uh, nurses in mind, actually, I'm I'm recruiting. I I I, I need like four four more clients. So if anyone uh, knows anyone, please feel free to refer them to me. Um, so thank you. And um, if any anyone has any questions, um, it's 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 been uh, this it's been a long time that I've been doing my work on my thesis and it's been a struggle actually to find nurses to work with, even though I'm, I'm giving them away this, this for free. I mean, they're, they're getting treatment for free and it's, 
freaking amazing. It blows my mind every time. Um, the PhD is not in light language. The PhD is integrative medicine. Um, and this is the modality that I am focusing on. Um, so um, yeah, and, and I think that it's timing, you know, uh, that this is such a profound practice that we're uh, starting to, to revive on the globe. And uh, when I started to investigate, I started finding so many more people that are doing the same thing, you know, and practicing and, and sharing and, and, and helping people speak light, light language too, like learning how to do it. Um, so uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. It's fun to be in this position of, of the future. So, so yeah. Um, Awesome. So we'll ask you to share your link and um, in the chat or your email for people to contact you about nurses that might want to join. And if you'd like to do a transmission uh, today, we'd love to hear that. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't know if um, people translate some of their sound, but the, it's sort of like information comes through, the sound gets projected, and then sometimes I'll get pieces of information to bring to people's conscious awareness. So I, I don't know how that works for other people, but that's how it happens for me. Um, I get a money to put in the sheet, and but is he get a but I get a get a but I get a get a but I get a and does he get a but I get a get a but I get a but I get a get a but I get a but I get a get a but I get a get a get a but I get a get a but I 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 get a this is coming from Andromedan information. A lot of times that's the messages that I connect to with, with most. I don't know if you've been thanked. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I don't even know your name, but the, the organizer. Thank you. And Joy and Carla, yeah. All, all of you. Thank you. You've been thanked. You've been f formally. So much loving gratitude. Ah. They are wanting it to become more commonplace. Because it's a, a unifying, it's it's something that helps us unify. And to release a lot of the fear. And those that are able to hold um, awareness with it uh, and to absorb uh, through the senses are going to are helping tremendously. Like on so many different levels. So the receiver is just as much as a as a healing force as the trans the person who's being used. So I don't want to take up too much time, but um Thank you for allowing me to 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 share and to bring in the message. But I guess you get a get a get a man I get a didn't to be a she get a better but I get a get a better but I get a but I get a but I get a to get a but I get a get out and in service. Thank you. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Um, this is me. This is absolute synchronicity. It's so beautiful, and I'm very curious about the drama and so this was a very special for me to hear this um, oh good and i also loved hearing that it was um like you said you know it's 
is something that transfers from the transmitter to the receiver to the person you, you know, your vibration affects the person that you're seeing at the grocery store. And that's why it's so important. Um, Thanks, so. can I say something? Yes, please do. Please. I just, I just want to say, oh my gosh, Heather, I have so many questions. I have to, I would love to contact you along with probably everybody else on our conference. And then Elle had a great question. If, um, I think if, if, if we could open up the floor, somebody said for other purchase, that would be, this is not a hierarchy. Zenka co-founded LightNet on a egalitarian spirit where we're all equal. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we would love to have L. L, do you want it? Let me find you to spotlight you. There you go. Okay, great. Go for it. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I'm more than happy to uh, bring whatever wants to come through now. Um, there's different like languages that I've had come through me. I've been channeling for a number of years. I also have multiple psychic faculty faculties open for a number of years. Um, but usually who comes through um, is the Galactic Federation of Light. And they tend to talk in quite, um, some people liking it to almost like a binary code. And uh, my understanding of the light language is that it's basically a vibrational frequency um, medicine that can activate um, things for people's healing or things in people's field. It can bring through technology for people. So I just invite everyone in this space to ask your higher self to um, what they wish to receive. If they want to filter anything out, absolutely fine too. Um, though, yeah, I know that I'll ask the, the channels always to be pure and working with the highest love and light for the highest good of all. So yeah, people are open. I'll see what they might want to bring through for us all today. So thanks for having me in this space and thanks for creating this space. What an honor <laughs> to kind of jump on and see what's going on. All right, beautiful. So it's a Galactic Federation of Light and they're saying, thank you for heeding this call. Thank you for creating this space, this great container that transverses space and time because there may be some people who are watching this um, in the future or there's, there's, some, there's somewhere that, that some of this information is going to be banked and that it has a ripple effect. So what information is coming through today on the call is actually going to have a ripple effect later on. They're also talking about a great time of balance and harmony. They mentioned the word or the name Sophie, actually. So I'm not sure if there's someone called Sophie here, but they also started talking about Sophia and, and kind of like the, the feminine, the great masculine and feminine. They're talking about the time of the solstice and the polarities and how the time of the solstice is, is often working with the these diff polarities because the equinoxes we almost have equal sanction of of um the sun and the dark and of course it's different in hemispheres anyway they were relating to um some of that and to find those uh, to really sit with those different um polarities and the different divine masculine and divine feminine inside ourselves. and then again they were talking about this space and this container and the number of um practitioners that are here and the number of people who are also learning here and just offering um reverence and grace so they'll just do one little bit more because we don't want to use all the air time but they've just got a little bit more so i'll bring that through
beautiful. So they were bringing through, and in the previous little trunk of transmission too, they were bringing through um, quite a lot of healing energy, and they're also activating primarily the heart space at this time, um, and information that was coming through um, three or four days prior, as well as specifically about this heart space, and and making sure that again around this solstice time that is it's being kept um, stoked that this fire inside is being kept stoked and activated then that we're remembering this this heart space so they've um added a little um co coded coded frequencies in there to help invigorate and activate that space at this time so yeah thanks for having them here to the show <laughs> thanks collective federation of light <laughs> thank you so much that was amazing that was beautiful wow so welcome Awesome. Awesome. Oh you my know, gosh. Can I say something? That was so amazing. I'm trying not to cry because, but I am a little, that was so moving. Yeah. Yeah. I felt that really deeply in my body. And, um, yeah. I, you know, Garrett Duncan, who, who spoke a little bit for us and I've shared my links for him in the chat. And again, if there's other channelers that you want to, um, you know, place in the chat for other people to check out, I encourage you to do that. But um, Garrett Duncan was, was gifted, um, a numeric thing where he's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, third, you know, and, and Carla has been transmitting that code too. And it's like really interesting and powerful. And he has an entire book that he goes through that his master teacher taught him how to access. And it was, it's very interesting. So that's very interesting. Very beautiful. Thank you so much. Awesome. Wow, you guys were in family today. This is great. So maybe Erica can talk about her her offering that's coming up. Yeah, Seeing so I'll just, I'll just say <laughs> briefly before um, Erica goes on is so like Carla said, we're a, a kind of a citizen science, international citizen science collective. And we're we're kind of like a Hogwarts too in the sense that we believe that all this stuff is being talked about on Gaia and all these shows, but no one's teaching us how to do it. How do you remote view? How do you, how do you speak light language? And so we believe in learning by doing. Um, and so we create these teams, they're called teams, and they are just eight to 10 to possibly 12 people. So it's a very small group. You, bought, you, you become friends with them over the course of eight weeks and it's a safe space for you to learn all this stuff, right? And the guide is there to support everyone in accomplishing what they set out to do at the beginning of the course. And we look at the metrics at the beginning of the end, who's made contact with ETs, angels, their guides or their higher self, right? Who like connect, can contact with the beyond with something outside of this physical world, right? Because that connection is unbreakable once you have it. And it's very powerful, right? So we had a 96% success rate in last season. We had eight different guides teaching everything from channeling to remote viewing. Um, and once people get into these groups, um, they're able to teach afterwards. Um, their own team. And um, we, um, yeah, so, so it's $199. We're a nonprofit. And that actually gets you access to all the archives in the season that you're in. So you're taking one course live on Zoom, but you're also able to learn from the other things because sometimes you'll have a dream contact or sometimes you will, you know, incorporate astral travel in your um, in your learning. So let's have Eriko um, come up, um, but I wanna show you, if you go to lightnet.org and you hit the curious learn more on the homepage, we start in January, the teams are filling up, you can get gift certificates, but the, these are all the different ones that are happening, lucid dreaming, all this stuff. Um, and you can just click on them and you can also learn about what you're gonna learn about um, here in the in the descriptions. So, um, Erica, I'm going to pull you up because you're going to. Erica's amazing. She led um, a Japanese team with a multi-contact um, situation, and she's going to be doing a very cool course. So, why don't you let us know what your team is going to be doing? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Erica. Um, 
my course will be um, focusing on uh, one is to strength body, mind, spirit to be able to uh, safely access and utilize um, a transmission or communication, a healing power. Um, by, so it's kind of like a Jedi training in Star Wars. So I use the um, ancient method, um, Taoist Qigong, Tibetan medicine, Tibetan Buddhist medicine, and other modalities, um, as well as uh, lay, uh, based on the latest scientific research, like an uh, effective way to uh, meditate. And in the past course, I did I, for Japanese people, uh, we did the remote viewing uh, using the control remote viewing method that CIA developed. And also we did a meditation and uh, I was really surprised that both modality are really good way to communicate or access to the universe. And uh, especially I knew that some remote viewing but it takes time to really acquire remote viewing. But the meditation, if you do um, well, meditation is a powerful method. So I'm um, for this uh, coming course, I'm gonna do uh, include meditation every time and also the hands-on energy exercise to use uh, the force from the universe and how to develop to, to, to be able to see the energy between your hands, you know, like a Qigong exercise or to use the healing and also the communication to develop intuition and um, communication between the uh, from, uh, different dimensional um, entities. So the fo uh, focus is to how to build yourself, uh, body, mind, spirit, uh, to prepare for the uh, next wonderful, amazing world we are <laughs> getting into. Yeah, thank you so much, Erko. And Erko can, you know, she can bend spoons and she's taught it all over Japan because she can, she's teach, she's going to be teaching you how to raise your vibration so high that that contact is going to be very easy. And um, yeah, we do that. Yeah, Tele yeah. yeah we can do and the spoon are, bending and healing. Yeah. Yeah, and these are a lot of um, Eastern practices that we're not as familiar with, Tibetan yoga and all the stuff like dream yoga. So, so this is really going to be a cool Jedi experience for people who want to really capture those thousands of years of, of knowledge, um, you know, here in the West. So um, we're so grateful to have you as, as um, a leader. And I just wanted to say one more thing before we go to Joy and Carla to talk a little bit about their thing um, is that we're, we base our, our small groups on Lynn McTaggart's research, which states that if you have eight to 10 people, eight people, the power of eight together, you basically can do anything. So we've had miracle healings. We've bent spoons without touching them. We've done all this stuff. It's just tapping into our hearts and being in that safe and loving environment. And so what happens when people are in these groups is that they, they know that this stuff is possible, but they've never really experienced in their own life. And so that's what we're, we want everyone to have those experiences and multiple. So by the third time you do it, you're like, okay, this is not a fluke. <laughs> I have access to, to this, you know, to this life force, to this love force, to this, to this creation force, right? Um, Joy, do you want to talk a little bit about your team next season? Yeah, so I'm I'm making an offering of uh, clearing, clearing blocks and belief systems and stories, and we're going to do some theta healing. And with theta healing, you can really make powerful, profound, quick changes. Um, we're going to probably teach muscle testing, and um, yeah, there's just so much. Like I have so much. Um, that I can bring in and I'm just going to read the group and see where the group really wants to go so yeah so that's uh, um, and I'm going to open the superpowers that's the biggest thing I'm going to clear the blocks and open the superpowers so that we can actually have all that access that we want so yeah amazing I've been in a couple teams with her so far in season one and season two um, Joy is a jack of all trades that is very profoundly skilled at so many, and she's very good with people. So she's going to be fighting for you. She's going to be supporting you. She's going to be holding you 
Um, and she's also going to be holding you high. So it's that, it's that really cool combination of like gentleness and love and holding, but also like she, she will, she will get results because she will, she'll push you into your greatness. So great. So the last share we'll have tonight before we close is Carla. Oh, oh yeah. Jess, Jesslyn is here. Jesslyn is here. Oh my yes. God. Okay, cool. So, so you guys, we have one more transmission from, um, from Mexico. No, not Mexico. You're, you're somewhere else, Guatemala now, right? Um, uh, I am in, I am in Mexico. It is true. Okay, okay, I'm finding you. I'm finding you. She's, she's leading a team too. She's leading a team too. Yeah, so and you can talk about your team too, but go ahead and do your transmission. Um, okay. If you can, if you can tilt your phone horizontal, it would be even better for the recording afterwards. I'm thanks for making the effort. We love your, your light language so much. It's just incredible. Aww. Okay, let me hold it. Let me, I'm going to try and figure out a way to prop this up so that I don't have to hold it because then I can just go directly in. Okay, is that okay? Maybe no, if I perfect. just lean, if I lean to the side, no, it looks perfect. like it's straight. That's <laughs> okay. Sete <laughs> La patunga la ste ange. Tashta ke ti te pa, stange te pa. Stange ti ste pa ke. Angesh te pankish te kaste ko kana palete te kite. Ho kampata sta ham. Tashta da ka ti de se te keshende. Te kele ke ste ke la hu kata ta shata. Te. La hm, te 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 pe te 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 I like started bringing up tears. It was like I was kind of getting like the the message in the background like it was almost like the computer when you're looking at your computer you're looking at the screen and like that's like the, this part right but then what's really going on in your computer your screen isn't doing shit right it's actually the computer and so I was like feeling it felt like this waterfall of light but it felt like it was like going across these oh I'm still feeling it now I'm just whew. um but there was definitely, I got some messages here and there for that. I'm sure it's all, I, I felt like it was for everybody in a very specific way for most of it. But then some of the pieces that I got for me, which I hope you guys got too, because it was, it touched my heart. It was, it was about really taking this opportunity, like $199 is nothing compared to what you're going to get from this, no matter what class you take, because every class is epic. And it's really about how to tap into your heart center so that you can be unstoppable. And that's what we're doing here. That's what we're bringing to the world. That's what we're doing. And we're doing it in our own ways. <laughs> wow. I'm still feeling it. Um, 
<laughs> and I am really excited and grateful and honored to be a part of LightNet. And in the course that I'm doing, it's called Intuition Accelerator. And so we'll be going through like learning tools and practices that you'll be able to do every single day to bring yourself to a higher vibration to, we're going to be learning quantum healing. We're going to be learning breath work, meditation, telepathy, remote viewing, and we're going to be basically getting to the heart of our highest self, our highest version of ourselves. And we're going to have tools and practices that we can whip out. So anytime that we are triggered and all the hair goes on the stands up on the back of your neck, you're actually going to have tools to be like whipping out and be like, shoo, 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 shoo. so you can be basically be the best, highest version of yourself if you should choose to. So thank you. Thank you, Zenka. You look beautiful. Are you on mute? Yeah, thank you so much, Jesslyn. I'm so glad you were able to tap in, even though you're on your big uh, journey in South America. And um, yeah, you know, Jesslyn didn't speak light language eight weeks ago, and we were all blown away because she's got so much freedom in her body. She's open. She's open to letting all this through. And it was like very humbling to be in class with her see her show us how to be unstoppable, to use your word, show us how to be connected. So, you know, it's like, I don't know, you know, we can't, like, we need to stop limiting ourselves because exactly. it's game time, guys. There's a lot of people falling yeah. apart, going through the collective dark night of the soul on the whole planet, and they're going to look to us to hold the vibration and we can do it. And we can especially do it to like steady our own ships using these tools. So, so yeah, just like Joy, um, that's when it has the, the like, I will fight for you attitude. Um, and I've seen it with her breath work stuff that's been life-changing for me. So, so <laughs> thank you for, for being here and, um, uh, uh, and thank you for being here tonight. So all you guys, um, we're going to close now. I don't know if Carla wants to say anything more. Um, I'm leading a radio course where we actually use ham radios, physical sounds to talk to the other side using multiple choice, breaking the laws of physics. It's totally wild. We also do automatic writing and astral travel in my, in my team. So um, thank you so much, Carla. Um, why don't you go ahead and talk a little bit about what you're going to be doing and, and close for, for today. So thank you guys for... I just want to, I want to quickly say and reiterate, I would take a class from every, anybody who was listed here and anybody at LightNet, it's really creative the way they teach. It's not the way normal uh, education takes place. It's very, very creative and fun. You're going to love it. Another thing is um, I teach light language. I think you're really going to enjoy that. Any class really at LightNet, I swear by it. It's really amazing. And I want to thank, I'm so proud of everybody who did their transmissions today. So I can't get past the word. I'm just so proud of everybody. And it was so excellent. And it was, it made my heart expand past a part I knew it could open past. So thank you for that. To the people who gave light net, um, light language transmissions, because that's the secret to life is to be vulnerable and have an open heart. And thank you for that. Zenka does a limitless hours of work with uh, many people behind the scenes and I want to thank all of them. Um, thank you so much to the co-founder Zenka that you work with so much. Um, there's really something special. I think we have, it, I think the saying is lightning in a bottle. I think we have something pretty special here and, it, and I'm honored to be a part of it. Um, in closing, I want to say each of you that opened your hearts to this. Some people, it was their first experience with light language. Personally, we thank you for coming out. And people who do know light language who came out, we thank you for coming in. People who are maybe trying it out for the first time or it's the 10th time they've done it, we thank you as well for just creating a space because that is such a great turnout. We had 28 plus people. Wow, thank you for the souls that came here. In addition, I'd like to thank all of the star people and the beings that we work with, the families and friends as well. And in conclusion, um, an open heart opens doors. Thank you so much. We're gonna close out now. Awesome, thank you. you guys.
Yeah, I was just going to say, we got to thank the people, you know, the Stark families and everything like that who joined us too. So this, we, we are going to, we had over 71 people sign up for this conference and we'll be sending the archives out to them, sending them love. And this will also be up on um, New Realities and the Our LightNet YouTube. So um, happy holidays, you guys. Thanks for being you. Thanks for being so special. Um, and thanks for spending time with us today to open your hearts. Love you so much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you so much, you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings to everybody and to all a good night. Thank you. <laughs> good night, Jocelyn. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs>